episode of Behind the Lens. I'm Paul, thanks for watching. Um, in this episode, it's gonna be all about the Ronin SC and the Lumix G7, how to connect this with a cable, if it's possible. Yeah, I've bought the uh, number nine cable from Ronin, uh, from DJI, <laughs> yeah. Let's see if this works. Yeah, you can find all the materials I'm talking about below in the description. So let's first see this. We have the gimbal here. Yeah, and as you can see here, the actual connection point is here on the horizontal. Let's put it in here, and it's important to know on your uh, G7, on the side here, there is a remote control entry in because it allows you to remote control. Now, when I first bought this gimbal, it wasn't completely clear to me which cable to buy, and I saw the... Uh, number nine cable and I saw that it wasn't compatible, it was compatible and I was, from my previous experience in some of the previous, so as you can see, in some of the previous gimbals I had, I really, you know, I thought, okay, let's spend this 19 or 20 euros and let's just see if it works, but I wasn't particularly happy. Yeah, so as I've just, you know, you first control it here, you first enter the little remote option it's in now now before you do this uh, let's have a look how you first should set your camera up because there are a few tweaks you need to do before you can enable this so we're going to look at that now i've shot that on the actual gh4 so you'll see this film now it takes a few seconds then we'll be back to see what we can actually do. So how to set up your camera. First switch it on. Go in into your menu button here. Yeah, and then you see basically, you see the four menus. You go in here to the little wrench. You go to the second page and you see a USB mode. Yeah. You click it in here, you have three options. Yeah, select the connection, picture bridge or uh, PC. Yeah, you see here PC. You just select this. That should normally be okay for you to at least set up the camera so it can connect to the gimbal. Another important part is, uh, let me see how I show this. If you're here, you see your, whoa, this is not good. You see here your focus button, your uh, autofocus. You have to switch it to manual focus. Once you do this, your G7 is actually ready to go. So now, Let's continue connecting and see what we have. Okay, you've actually seen that. So uh, let's see now if we can start this up. Let's start up the camera first and then the gimbal. Yeah, and what I've noticed in the few times that I've actually done this is that not by default uh, the gimbal will actually work. You see, uh, at least it won't pick it up. So sometimes you have to do what I just showed you. You have to do it a few more times. So if we really start looking at this, yeah, we're going to do it now here. If I now push the button, yeah, you see it clicking here and it actually works. So with this, you can actually control your uh, gimbal with and connect your gimbal with uh, your Lumix G7. I'm glad that you can connect it. Now, one of the things is compared to all the other gimbals is very simply put, uh, what can you really do with it now? And that is where things can become interesting. You can, of course, start and stop it, which I'm doing right now. Um, you can capture a photo. You can do this also via the app. Yeah, um, you can pull focus electronically. Uh, I've been trying to do this on the app and somehow with the app, I'm still struggling a bit, but that's more my inexperience, I guess, than that the app has a flaw. I've tried the panorama function, which was really working. I've tried to... Uh, do some auto focusing, uh, which worked as well. Although I have it now on manual, you can also click it back to auto focus, and then you can really pull with short stops here on one of the buttons. Yeah, um, but I would definitely suggest, and this is the other part, is to look at some of the accessories. <laughs> Now, one of the other things about accessories is um, with any gimbal you can buy a ton so i've linked a few here in the description below but i think two really stand out first of all is a little focus motor you can buy um, <clears throat> which i think here once you uh, disconnect 
this here on the side you see a few points here where you can have this focus motor on and you can control the focus here um, electronically not via your telephone which I think is uh, a big selling point the other one is speaking of, of your uh, app and control there's also something called a uh, Ronin command I think they call it a command hub or center anyways that means that you can control your gimbal without having to use your phone which is pretty awesome now i'm thinking of buying the electronic focus because having my mobile phone here and i can do it i know but i don't think in the end um, it will benefit anybody so i think i'm, I'm going to make my life easy for the command center i haven't decided but i think it's a bit pricey but it's pretty good so i think the key accessory here if you really look at it is your little cable description in the link below um, you can also buy then the electronic focus which has a similar uh, uh, yeah I would say beneficial effect almost and then last but not least if you really don't want to use your phone you can uh, yeah, can buy this command center there's a ton I mean a ton of accessories you can buy for the Ronin SC most of them are compatible as well with the Ronin S so that you know for the future might actually help you a bit yeah and with that um, we're at the end of this uh, episode yeah I hope you uh, you enjoyed it I didn't enjoy making it simply because uh, my uh, this one here my road mic was without battery so I had to redo everything uh, an upgrade to my Filmora took about an hour and a half so that's gone as well and then it took an hour to upload a simple file uh, before I could edit it then I came back here and I saw that my other uh, my simple very cheap $20 Boya mic had also died <clears throat> so I'm now doing it on a different Boya thank God for abundance yeah I see that my lighting here at one part is uh, slowly going without battery as well so that was not the easiest uh, episode for me to make but it was a fun episode after all you learn from it in the next episode I'm gonna have a new gimbal test and this has nothing to do with your camera this is the uh, DJI uh, Osmo Pocket now I'm not sponsored by DJI at all this is all my own money but it's really small and I normally uh, outside of Corona tend to travel quite a bit so I've put it to the test already I'm gonna test it a bit more and see which accessories you can actually are handy and let's see if it's really as good as people say it is or it isn't anyways thank you very much any questions let me know and hope to see and hear from you next time bye bye